John Slattery for Sonoran Herbalist and we're here in Arizona at about 8,500 feet in a Gamble Oak Grove. Just finished picking some acorns and here in the understory of the Oak Grove we have a shrub in the Grossulariaceae family, Ribes cerium, C-E-R-E-U-M, or wax currant. And this is a fantastic little grove of wax currants, which you can actually smell before you see. Uh, the odor from the leaves is a piney odor. Actually, the young leaf growth is pretty sticky. As soon as you touch it or the wind blows it, you can smell this spicy, aromatic, piney aroma. So the air is full of that now dry, crisp, cool air of the early fall season. So these uh, shrubs are full of fruit. Let me see if we can get close enough with the camera to see some of them clearly. Yeah. Sometimes they'll be in pairs. Yep, yeah, that's a little better. Uh, you can notice the style from the flower which is now turned brown here at the tip of the fruit. That helps identify the species Ribes cerium. And unlike gooseberry, which is another Ribes, uh, there are no thorns. Several of the Ribes species uh, have thorns, and those are all gooseberries. And uh, this is our thornless wax current, most prominent one um, across the Mogollon Rim, Ribes cerium. So here at late summer, early fall, these berries are ripened. Uh, some write that these berries are bland in taste. They have a fantastic texture. It's a, a soft, uh, almost jello-like, uh, gelatinous type of texture. Very smooth on the palate. Uh, their flavor can be bland to somewhat piney, like the smell and the scent of the foliage. So here as a companion to the acorn harvest, uh, these fruits can be harvested and either eaten fresh in the hand or you can dry them in the sun, which may, may bring out a little more sweetness. Uh, these could be made into a jam um, with the addition of some sugar. I don't know if pectin is necessary or not to make these into a jam. You could also add these as flavorings to a stew, as the acorns would traditionally be, be utilized, um, either ground or, or broken into pieces and cooked for a length of time to make them soft enough to, to eat. These gamble oaks, by the way, can be relatively low in tannins, uh, the acorns, so that the acorns could be eaten right off the tree, similar to the emery oak. Just to show you, here's a handful of recently collected gamble oak acorns. So that's the harvest here at 8,500 feet, end of September. Ribes cerium, wax current, and gamble oak, Quercus gambelii.